Alright guys, let's continue. Okay, so now before we continue I want to introduce you to something that can uh, help us in this modeling process in Blender. So I'm gonna don't 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 uh don't do what I'm gonna do from now until I ask you to uh get back to your work and follow up. Alright? So whatever I'm gonna do now, just pay attention, okay? So I'm gonna add in a new cube and I'm gonna use that to explain something to you. So we have we have these uh tools in Blender called modifiers, alright? So they are they are this is their icon up here, the one with the wrench on it. This is their tab. So just click on that tab on the wrench tab to take you there. All right. So you click on it. Right now we're on the camera tab. That's the render tab. But click on the wrench tab to take you there. So you click there. Now we're here. Modifiers allow you to make specific kind of uh, changes to uh, your mesh. So it depends. For example, if we look through the list we have mirror now what mirror does is mirror allows you to mirror your object in a specific axis for example you have half the object okay so you have half the object like this okay and you delete it so okay so this is your object center alright so make sure that your object center I mean the origin of your object which is which is the not which is designated by this uh, yellow dot right here this yellow dot here is your center of origin okay your origin point of the object so if you move your object the yellow thing moves along with it all right so with it being in the middle there and the other half deleted we want to add in a mirror modifier now all right so we add in a mirror modifier and uh we mirror it up in the x axis here what it does is it takes whatever is on this side and mirror it up on the other side alright you can do the same thing in the z-axis alright so maybe you put up the x and then do it up in the z-axis and that can be seen when we move it I mean in the y-axis that can be seen if we move it here alright it is it is mirroring but considering where the origin point is you're not going to be able to view it so if we move this now and have the origin point right in the center of the edge here then we'll be able to see the mirror like that same thing applies to the Z axis alright so if we move it down here you can see the mirror it's mirroring it there alright so you can also mirror in two axes at the same time so maybe the X axis and the Z axis alright like that so this, this, this technique can be used in modeling vehicles like uh, cars where uh, you can apply the mirror in the in the center, so you don't have to model the same side twice, or you don't have to model the car twice on the same uh, on each side. All right, you can just apply the mirror modifier, and then when you work on one side, it mirrors it on the other. So that's one of the modifiers. The other one, which is the one we'll be using most of the time, is the subdivision surface modifier. All right, this is it right here, the subdivision surface modifier. Now what that does is it takes it takes each of your objects, I mean each of your vertices, alright, and uh, divide them. It divides them again. Okay, it divides them again and adds more vertices. It adds more vertices and then it averages it out. Okay, so for example, like this. So right here we have we have a vertex up here. We have a vert we have a vertex down here, alright? So what it does is it takes for example this vertex here and this vertex up here and then it adds one more vertex between them and then averages it out. Okay? So right now this is your object mode, you're seeing the vertices that you're seeing right now, but this is what your result will be when you apply the subdivision surface like this, okay? So it adds in more uh more more vertices to your mesh right so between this and this adds more vertices to it and then averages it out to make it look more rounded right so you can increase the intensity of this uh, of this 
modifier with this here we have the view and the render now the view only allows you to only allows you to modify the mesh in view form but when you go to render it it is not going to show as a number of view that you have here so whenever when you're working with uh, when you're working in your workspace and you set it up to the particular value that you need in your workspace then you make sure you set it up in the render as well so that will be the same result you see when you finish the whole thing and render it out as an image right I'll ex we'll, we'll get to know this much better along the way so let's get back to our mesh and continue all right so now you can follow along if you were follow if you were following along all right so we continue so we're going to add in we're going to select this object now now you can also notice that the uh, okay forget forget about that let's just continue all right so you select the object now and add in the modifier the modifier we're going to be using is the subdivision surface now okay so we're going to add in the subdivision surface right now we're going to add it in right now and set it up to two make sure the view and the render are both set up to two so now we're going to edit this to look a little bit more like this right now so for now you can you can notice that the, the the coffee machine has cutouts in it okay right here and I think it surrounds it around here and goes back we can see those sides but I'm pretty sure it, this cutout comes all the way up here and goes back here and then moves back down here so this is what we're gonna create for this silver panel here that runs from here to the top to the face all the way to the back and to down here including this cutout we're gonna ignore this cutout now and make this whole piece one for now so let's get inside and then let's get started so this again this is a uh, a uh, say we are to split this into two okay for now forget all the buttons that are on it just take a look at the frame of the of the uh, coffee machine all right so you can see that if we have to split this into two the left side will look exactly like the right side as I was explaining in the mirror modifier so we can use the mirror modifier to limit the amount of work we have to do not how to create each side of the uh, object all right so let's first of all let's add in the mirror point okay we need to make sure there's a, a loop cut in the mirror point where we're going to be mirroring it so press ctrl and R and add in a loop cut here left click and then right click to reset it now we we have to make sure we have our object in the center before we delete the other half of the mesh All right so if your object is not of the cent it's not on the center of the if your origin is not in the center of the mesh you can do that by pressing control alt control plus alt plus shift and then plus c you get this menu and then you press I mean you select origin to geometry all right select origin to geometry and that set the origin to the to the uh, the center of mass of the object selected okay so now it's in the middle it's right in the middle of the object all right so that is where the mirror will be affecting it so now that we've done that we can delete the left half all right so what I did now the selection I did now this thing I did if you want to be able to do that hold down control hold down left click and then drag all right and then drag that allows you to select it or you can go manually and select them one by one that can also work for you or you can use box select that can be done by pressing B on your keyboard and then selecting it or you can also use the brush select I don't know if that's really the name but that's what I call it so you press C on your keyboard and that enables it and you can use that hold down left click and then drag over the area you want to select they are all modes of selection alright once you have it selected press X and this time we want to delete the vertices we want to delete everything over there so we want to delete the vertices so you select vertices and delete it so now we, we have one half okay so now we're going to add in the mirror modifier so that whatever we're doing here is going to be shown on the other side so let's add in our modifier right now select mirror modifier alright it's in here now it has been added 
so we just have to work on one side and then it will be affected on the other side now if if you take a look at this if I move this right now you can see these things are actually separated we don't want them to be separated we want them to be one object and the only way to do that is to enable clipping in the mirror modifier alright so when you enable clipping and then you try to move them apart they are not gonna go apart anymore they are attached together but in case in some case you wanna you know split them apart again you can do that by en disabling the clipping again and that puts I mean splits them up so for now let's enable them and keep them on we have this now so I also want to let you guys know the way you arrange your modifiers here is very very important okay so you need to know how to arrange your modifiers but usually yeah it's very important to know how you arrange your modifiers for example if you were to add in which obvious modifier we to show that um say um I'm not so sure for example the um mm, Okay, I'm pretty sure we'll know what I mean along the way. The way you arrange your modifiers really, really matters. So let's continue, and I'll explain that later along the way. So I want to make that cutout that is over here, this very cutout here. So all we have to do now is to select the edges now. Okay, we want to select the edges. So select each of the edges we want to make these bevels here alright we want to make this we want to create these bevels over here so select each of the edges that you think forms from the reference image that you think form those bevels alright so we select them all except the one at the top that isn't part of it in fact let's delete those faces alright so I'm going to delete those faces right now those faces are now deleted let's delete these faces as well faces deleted aha this is what I was talking about so you can see here that it caves in okay it caves in we don't want that to be happening we want it to be directly continuous or right? we don't want it to move down why do you think this is happening it's because we are subdividing this before mirroring it okay so it is averaging it out before mirroring it so the effect is going to be that these two are not going to be they are not going to be able to be uh, they are not going to be together when when you apply the uh, subdivision surface all right instead they are going to be averaged out as you're seeing right now before they're mirrored that is why you're seeing this cutout here so in order to get rid of uh, you, in order to get rid of that you want to mirror this before you subdivide it so when you mirror it they are now clipped together and then you subdivide it and they cannot be apart okay so all you have to do is make sure the mirror modifier is above the subdivision surface okay so you, you, you do that by clicking on this arrow here the up arrow here move that above it and that gets rid of that okay so now it is applying the mirror and now once the mirror has been applied it says okay now when you've applied the mirror what is happening is the mirror has now been applied okay it has been applied but not phys I mean not really applied okay but it's, it's there now the mirror has been added now when you add in the subdivision surface below the mirror what it is saying is this new thing you're seeing here this new thing as a result of adding the mirror okay this new thing you're seeing here is now what you are supposed to manipulate not the half not the original half you're supposed to manipulate the whole thing okay so it is telling the subdivision surface I have done my part alright and I've done it so all you have to do is take what I have produced and then do whatever you have to do with it do you get it that is why if these were to be up there subdivision surface is saying okay I've done my part I've averaged it out now mirror it okay now it averages out and then averages out all this side alright and then it, now you're, you're now mirroring it and then it results in this okay but when you add in the mirror the mirror is saying okay I've added my property I've mirrored it on the other side now it's your turn to do yours alright so then since the mirror is already taking care of this the subdivision surface is not going to be able to average this out because now it is treating the whole thing 
as a full object, not just half. Right? I don't know if I explained it very well for you to understand. So that is what it is. We're going to continue and then bevel this out for now. And then we'll end the video here and continue on the next one. So let's bevel this out and get these bevels here. Right? So we're gonna bevel this out by selecting the edges. So make sure you're in edge select mode, select all the edges you think could form the bevel. Alright. So these are the edges I have selected. Okay, you can go into wireframe mode to make sure those are the edges you have selected. And then the hotkey for beveling is control B. Alright? Control plus B. Control B or bevel. And now you're in bevel mode. So all you have to do is move your mouse. Alright, and then select the amount of bevel that you need. Okay, so right now we're going to eyeball it. Try to try to find. Hold on, I forgot to select one more edge, which is this one. It also has the bevel right there. Alright, so now let's press again Control B and let's bevel this to the amount we think it's right. Okay, so I think I'm going to go with looking down here at the offset right. looking down here at the offset let's go with uh, a um, 0 0.05 or 0 0.06 let's go with 0 0.06 okay so type 0 0.06 in and press enter type it in and press enter now you have it all right you've beveled your object if you still want to bevel it more if you beveled it and you're not sure that is what you want and you want to bevel it more you can do that by pressing the T okay press the T button right after you've beveled it don't do anything else just press the T button and then control the amount with this, the segments you want to add in, maybe you want to add more than two segments, maybe you want to add more, as you can see what is going on right now, but we only need one, and the profile, now the profile will only work if you have more than one segment, it won't work in one segment, if you have more than one segment, that is when it works, and what it does is it straightens up the uh, edges as they used to be, but only adds in more loop cuts, so observe. That's what the profile does. So we need only one segment, not two. Now that we have that, and we are sure that is the amount of bevel that we need, we can now continue. So I will end here, and we'll continue in the next video. And remember to save your work.